Hey, what's up, guys? I don't know if my audio quality is good here. I don't. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm gonna watch it, listen it to it back, to see if it's good. But it looks good so far, so I'm just gonna go with it. You know, I think rage bait is the best form of, you know, creating, <laughs> creating like viral content on the internet. I hear me out. Like the more clickbait, the more rage bait, the more you know bullshit bait like type content you have the more quickly you can become viral and you can quickly put yourself out there into you know, this into the internet sphere the problem with this strategy is is that it can tarnish your reputation to the point where you become sort of like a joke entertainment character and this can harm your your brand if you're not specifically an entertainment like brand but more so like a more serious brand like for example, speed, speed, clickbaits, whatever his speed, speed rage baits, whatever his speed, 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 speed. I don't know. Oh, what the fuck? Uh, um, Jesus Christ! What on earth is wrong with me? Oh, holy crap, dude! Speed, for example, he you know stupid baits where he just like pretends to be stupid, but like it seems so genuine because acting is so phenomenal. Like he can actually play it off. So, you know, it, it works. You know what I'm saying? But like that one kid who say he hit. Oh, excuse me. That one little geek who said he hates uh, water, the taste of water. Or water is the most refreshing thing ever. Uh, and sparkling water is amazing as well. Don't even get started. The bubble is making you like burp everything you've ever like eaten in your entire life. And you can just taste it in your throat. It's amazing. <laughs> it's, like, it's, like a, it's like a little mushroom trip or something. I don't know what the fuck. I've never tried mushrooms. I keep hearing about it though. It's just like, oh, I, I could get okay. I, for my friends that are drug addicts, like, I get it, bro. You know, mushrooms, Xanax, whatever it is, like, okay, you take drugs, bro. Okay, sick. Like, you're a crackhead and you're a nitty mate. Anyways, <laughs> bit of a side tangent there. Um, I think, I think, yeah, rage bait and clickbait is like those two things. Like, you put them to bam, like, you know, fucking sandwich, like peanut butter and jelly, even though I've never tried peanut butter and jelly. And I, I've seen Bert Kreischer. Talk to Paddy Pimler about it and how good it is, but I'm like, mm, mm, mm. I don't know, I'm not sure. Um, but like, yeah, those two things, they 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 are the best ways in to get attention quick. And I'm not talking like you know a news article because like nobody fucking reads the news. Let's be realistic, unless it's like fucking world politics or like finance finance things or like specific things that like for a specific purpose then like it makes sense you feel but like for the most part no one fucking reads the news like what are you on about mate like like if there's like a, a huge fluctuation in bitcoin i'm gonna read about it but for the most part like you could click bait about fucking prince harry even the even the royal family i don't give a fuck like all I all I know about is that they have too much social status and they have too much taxpayer money and they're not doing fucking enough. They're just drinking shots. Like what? Like, holy shit! Like they're just being. They're just like what the fuck? They have no political power. They have. I mean, technically they could obtain a political power through brute force. There is no doubt in my mind they could. But like, you know, the mo- having a monarchy in. 2023 isn't efficient. Actually, no, it would be more efficient than, Brit- than the British government. Never mind, I, I lied about that. Is I'm fucking dumb. But then again, there's probably a fucking puppet masters behind the bridge. Yeah, that's, that's fucking, that's another conversation. Like, I, I, at the end of the day, I make my sandwich. I eat my noodles. I don't give a fuck. Okay, guys. Like, it, it's, it's semi, it's only available to videos. That's what I mean. That it means going on a fucking three minute tangent there about like my daily life, but that's the nature of my videos, guys. So, like, I don't really fucking accept it, bro. Dude, you gotta kick it. Oh my god. Oh. I'm gonna pass out straight up. I'm so tired. It's 12 37 a.m. in the morning. I wanted to read some fucking Atomic Habits and How to Win Friends and Influence People and play some chess before I go to sleep. Rage at chess and then fucking be awake all night because I'm angry. But I decided to record a video instead. I want to be, you know, fucking on content. I don't be doing any other shit. It's content, 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 content. That's what I really want at the end of the day. 
I also want to be boxing again, content and boxing. That's boxing is pretty good content as well. Good social status, good valid validation. It's good, you know, income. It's good. It's it's a it's a good skill to have. Jesus fucking Christ, am I punch drunk or something? I haven't been boxing in like three weeks. Like and I'm just stuttering and slobbering all over my words. So fucking annoying. My wrist seems like it's healed. So next week I think I should be able to go. Go back to boxing, train, spar, fight. Nothing. Just usual business. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing big. Just it is what it is. I know all these buzzwords from like TikTok and YouTube Shorts and all this other bullshit, but like, it doesn't mean I'll fucking like acknowledge them and to like preach them as the fucking as the truth and shit. I don't care. Anyways, with the rage bait and clickbait thing. Um, it's a lot of short, short term, short term, uh, attention, and at the end of the day, if you're doing it, then your ability to create a fan base will probably be severely mitigated, simply from the fact that, you know, you're a very unlikable person who's just trying to invigorate people to hate them, and that isn't very, that isn't a very attractive trait, I don't know about you, man, it isn't very attractive. Holy shit, I'm tired. Give me a minute so I can just think about something else to say to me in the video 10 minutes. Anyways, I got fucking nothing. You know, at the end of the day, rage baiting, and click baiting is for one thing and one thing only, and that is views. Because in my opinion, views can directly translate into social status. I don't know which side of my mic is on. I think my mic's on both sides. Testing, 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 testing. Testing, 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 testing. Sorry about that for destroying your ears, absolutely. But at the end of the day, I think that, you know, you should have the initial view. You should have, you should feel what, it, you should know what it feels like to get attention on YouTube. That's what I think. And rage baiting and click baiting is the best ways to do these things. Rage bait by doing putting dumb shit, annoying shit in your videos. Click bait by doing you know, clickbait titles, clickbait thumbnails, that suggests something else, when it, when it isn't that way, you know, everyone fucking does it, you know what I'm saying, but at the end of the day, you are promoting, like, short form content, instant gratification, degeneracy, and, you know, attention span, complete destruction, or complete attention span destruction, but, like, everyone else is doing it, so you're not a fucking hero, you're not Jesus, you're not gonna fucking suddenly die, and then it's gonna be uncalled to clickbait, you know what I'm saying, guys? It's it's gonna keep, it's gonna stay here for, until kingdom come, seriously, and kingdoms are not coming anymore, because kingdoms don't exist. So, like, guys, at the end of the day, you just might as well just hop on the bandwagon, get your views, see what it's like, maybe you spend, like, a year trying to do a YouTube channel, Instead of being a fucking wholesome YouTube channel, you're like, you know, you're like fuck it, I want to just be clickbait, ragebait, get your views, see what it's like to get attention. Obviously, it's going to be negative attention, but even if you do get positive attention, here's the truth. Like, when they comment about, like, oh, you're a nice video, dude, what I fucking made, it feels nice in my heart, but like, in a week, I forget. But the negativity sticks, always. Always. That's, that's the whole paradigm, bro. That's what it's like to be fucking like ultra competitive. Like, welcome to the fucking club, mate. Fuck. In success, you feel just eh, yippee, and then eh, and then in failure, you're like, fuck. I just I lost everything. The wife, the kids, <laughs> the car. That's how it be. That's really how it be. I think I'm done with this video, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for listening to me, to me fucking talk shit. Uh, thank you for watching this video as well. I'll talk to you in the next video. Peace. Live mediocre, die mediocre.